Brash is a new propulsion technology for both vehicles and stationary power, combining air and steam into one working fluid, and heating that fluid with any number of solid, liquid, or gaseous fuels produces a powerful new alternative to the internal combustion engine. Through the generous support of the U.S. Department of Transportation and the University of Connecticut, this patented technology is advancing from theory to practice. Earlier testing of this technology proved that a small brash engine could power a light transport vehicle at steady state. This DOT-sponsored effort explores the operational characteristics of this technology, the time from startup to drive, the ability to maintain speed, then decelerate to a stop, and pull away from that stop, accelerating quickly. Brash has the potential to provide this range of power more economically than conventional internal combustion engines. One important note about this video. That white cloud of water vapor is a good indication that steam provides most of the power during high-speed operation. But in real life, no one would see that cloud. For these tests, the expanded steam is vented directly to the atmosphere. But in real use, that steam would be recovered, condensed in a radiator, and reused. The air and steam fractions are constantly recycled. The only component that is consumed is the fuel to heat the air-steam mixture. The test vehicle from Spring 2010 trials is a modified electric car fitted with a quasi-turbine two-horsepower steam engine as the expander. Instead of operating as a steam engine, Brash uses a mix of pressurized air and water at steam temperatures to power the vehicle. For more recent trials, the test vehicle has been modified to include electronic regulation of propellants via National Instruments LabVIEW software and controllers. For this evaluation, the vehicle was tested in a stationary mode with wheel loads removed in order to better facilitate video recording. Consumption of air, water, and propane fuel were measured before and after each test run and monitored during testing. On November 26, 2010, the BRASH team performed test run number 5, the following video segments demonstrating start, stop, and acceleration were extracted from run number 5. This video segment shows that BRASH is operational in seconds from a cold start and the steam component operates within 5 seconds of start. This is in sharp contrast to other external combustion engines, like conventional steam engines, which can take many minutes for a boiler to come up to temperature. A little residual uh, water vapor from the last run, but it's an air only. Tell me when you got the water on. Water on. Water's on. And after a momentary hesitation, you can see the pressure picking up a little bit. This video segment shows sustained low speed operation of the brash engine. Low speed operation is not particularly remarkable for a conventional internal combustion engine, but sustained low speed operation is a challenge for some external combustion engines. Brash manages this task by operating in an air rich mode. Air-rich operation produces less effective power, but consumes substantially less fuel.
DOT's potential interest in this technology is for powering city buses. And city buses do a lot of slowing, stopping to pick up passengers, and then accelerating away from the curb. How well does Brash perform this task? Watch the output shaft from the quasi-turbine engine and note the slowing, stopping, and restarting. All possible because of the piloting airflow, followed by water under pressure. Why waste fuel idling an engine when you can stop and restart the engine just as easily? That same city bus may have to accelerate to highway speeds on a short entrance ramp. So efficient high-speed operation is just as important. Note how quickly the engine spools up to high speed with the rapid injection of water into the baseline airflow. The steam-rich propellant forms quickly and efficiently in the heater section and immediately enters the expander for useful work. The brash engine cycle avoids the use of a heavy boiler to make steam. Brash steam is generated as the mix passes through the hot section, a fraction of a second before it is injected into the expander. This process is safer, more responsive, and more economical than conventional steam power. Run number five lasted for 11 minutes and consumed 270 grams of propane over that time. But instead of propane, we could have used wood pellets, corn husks, or processed animal waste. Running at variable speeds for that 11 minutes produced an average 24 boiler horsepower from the heater section, enough to power a 10 or 12 horsepower engine with a fuel economy of 110 miles per gallon. 10 horsepower might seem too low to power a passenger vehicle, but consider the 4,700 pound Stanley steamer, powered by only a 20 horsepower steam engine. The Stanley climbed Mount Washington and carried four passengers at 80 miles per hour, all from a 20 horsepower engine. Steam engines and brash engines can provide a lot more power than equivalent internal combustion engines. A brash engine starts just as quickly as a gas engine, but produces more power from nearly any fuel and uses less fuel in the process. Our two goals for 2011 are installing a 20 horsepower brash engine into a small pickup truck and developing the first lightweight, modular, combined heat and power unit for residential and remote use. Eight minutes, 35 seconds, burn time on a quarter tank of air. Yep. For more information, please visit brashengines.com.